Jack Jack's up again. Welcome to Kitty Powers Matchmaker. No idea how this game is going to go live, but some people were suggesting it to me because I played Honey Pop, and this is another matchmaker game, and you guys know how great I am at matching people up. I might as well be Cupid in human form. And look at the two people kissing back here. Oh, before we start though, listen to this. <laughs> is that annoying yet? <laughs> Okay. Your mission is to expand this sad little branch of my dating agency to its full potential. Can do, will do, gonna do. Do this by finding love for as many clients as possible. I will. I am gonna set people up right and dandy. Before you get started, you need to take down your particulars. Right. Tell oh. We can actually. Oh, okay. We can actually be like I could put myself in, but you know what? Let's have a little fun! My name is gonna be Flargan Montre from February 7th Mail. The rest is all normal, but the name is not. All the gossip. Which do you find the most attractive? Uh, women? I don't really have an eye preference. Let's- We'll do a random one. Um, wait, I'll, I'll just do this random again. Green eyes. Blonde hair. Perfect. Great. What type do you feel you relate to most? I don't know. Here we go. What do I want to look like? Can I edit this guy? Here we go. Face type. Okay. Look at that strong jaw. You could chisel a masterpiece sculpture with a face like that. Um. Okay, should we go for like, oh yeah, rugged. You get that little ass chin going on? I don't have it. The fact that I have hair here kind of covers it up. Nose. Oink oink, dude. There we go. That's what he's gonna look like. He's kind of like half me, half not me. Look at that hair, though. He looks like he's gonna go to a like a jazz club and read poetry, like skiddly bee bop bow. The love of my heart flutters like a fly. That kind of shit. Um. Time to probe the innermost depths. Ugh! I just wanna play. I just answered a bunch of random crap. Apparently, I'm an introvert, which I really don't think. But fuck it. You know what? We'll just go ahead. Cheers, darling. Oh, perfect. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm just at the other end of the kitchen floor. Right. Let's start matchmaking people up. Okay. Let's go to the comic book store. Seems like a geeky, glam, edgy. Let's go to the comic book store. Feel like it can really get people together. Those geeky types look pretty lonely to me. Oh, yeah. Let's okay. look them up. Let's get you started. <laughs> okay, Flaragon. Press the play button. <laughs> Will do! Is there actually gameplay to this or do I just keep choosing options? I'm curious. All of your characters are procedurally generated just for you. Thank you! Extrapolating romance vectors! Hello? Oh, you look so happy! Are you ready to fall in love? I can see it in your eyes. You are ready to go. Hi, I'm Joanne. I'm a child minder and I'm looking for a man. Come on, Joanne! Greetings! My name is Joanne. Hi, Joanne. My name is Flargan. I am a childminder, and I'm looking for a man. <laughs> I'm interested in goblins, internet memes, and watching fail videos. Quite, uh, austacious, austacious, what the fucking word I'm looking for, I don't know. And I have a preference for green eyes and white hair. Well, that's not me, then, I guess. Thanks. Can you locate a suitable love match? I'm sure a geeky toy place. Quentin Corkholm. Cork is a place in Ireland. And Joanne Badlow. Oh, what a... Daring what name. Pointed out is clearly the best okay, press match. the date button. Are you Please guys ready to go have babies? Kitty? I, I got this. Are you sure? Joanne, Quentin, come on down. Are you ready to flirt up a storm? Keep an eye on the restaurant you want to send them to to impress their date. <laughs> okay. Some restaurants are more difficult. Okay. Take someone to the same place twice. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot to take in. I'm, I'm skipping most of it. I'm reading it very fast though. Um, they're all easy. Let's let's just go middle, middle of the road. When in doubt, middle it out. <gasps> what? Okay, so it told me what one that time. The king's helmet. <laughs> that sounds a lot dirtier than it should be. <laughs> right. Okay. I have no idea what the gameplay in this is like, but I'm intrigued. This is funny already. <laughs> The King's Helmet! Nice taxi! We can watch them through the secret cameras I've had installed. You installed secret cameras in a restaurant? You need to guide them through their dates by making decisions Ah, oh, okay. I hope they are compatible. <laughs> Hello? Mm -hmm. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Quentin. Yes, I am. You must be Joanne. 
Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. Uh, this is a really nice place, isn't it? Affirmative. I would tend to agree with that conclusion. Your ocular organs are pleasing, huh? <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's very nice of you to say. <laughs> I do love your dark brown hair. <laughs> I appreciate you giving me this information. Jesus, you came out of nowhere. Good evening. May I take your order? Affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? Uh, I'd like something cold with red meat. Uh, uh, penis? <laughs> also, I'm trying to avoid wheat because it may gives me the gas and gives me the poopy for it. Cured ham salad. A plowman's lunch. A pork pie. Okay, cured ham salad. I will require two rations of cured ham salad, please. A wonderful choice! Sounds delicious. Yes, it does. I am in full agreement. This is fun. <laughs> I like games where I get to do my own voices for them. It's time to pull the love handle. Ladies and gentlemen, pull together. Okay, everybody, hand on the prize. Everybody, put your hand on your mouse or your equivalent. We're going to do this together. Three, two, one. I thought I had to pull it down, sorry. Oh. Oh god, what the fuck are they going to agree on? Is my hairstyle attractive to you? Yes, it looks great. It really suits you. <laughs> I am thrilled to hear it. <laughs> what do you think of my hair then? I don't think anybody would like your hair. It looks like somebody put a bowl on your head and cut it. And why are your eyebrows two different shapes and like... <laughs> like one is up in the top of his head, the other one's coming down over his eye. I am extremely attracted by it. If I wasn't such a robot... Oh, I feel like a million dollars. I love my hair, kitty. Nobody cares about your hair. Okay, it's time to pull the love handle. Everybody. Get together again. Okay, hand on your mouse. Three, two, one. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Bring it on down. Son of a bitch. Okay, we'll talk horoscopes this time because we did the other one last time. What is your opinion of horoscopes? I find them fascinating. I think they are transiently entertaining. I am pleased we agree. This is fucking simple. I'm Taurus. What are you? My birth sign is Virgo. Is this good? Does this please master? We're astro astrologically perfect. Yeah, because astrology, really, you really know how attracted you are to somebody by what's written in the stars by something some guy made up a million years ago. <laughs> Excellent. Our futures are well placed for success. Hello? Ahem. Can I interest you in something from the dessert trolley? I shouldn't, but just this once won't hurt. Boop, boop, next stop my thighs. <laughs> Very good. I shall fetch the trolley immediately. I did not factor in the appearance of a dessert trolley. Oh, oh look, here they come. Pay close attention. Okay, that thing. Knickerbocker Glory, vanilla ice cream, double espresso, fruit salad. Okay, that's pretty easy. Knickerbocker Glory, ice cream, coffee, fruit salad. Okay, got it. Which of our fine crafted desserts can I interest you in? The voices are all amalgamating together in my head. Ooh, that one at the start looks really nice. Affirmative, it is clearly the most nutritious dessert available. A Knickerbocker Glory is not nutritious. It is the Knickerbocker Glory! Um, okay, it's telling me what to do. Because this is only a tutorial. Confirm! We require one ration of Knickerbocker Glory, please. An inspired choice! Delicious! I'm looking forward to digging into that. Their dessert choice was completely predictable. You just said you didn't factor in the fact that they were going to send out one. What's in your ear? Is this supposed to be a piercing? It looks like a hearing aid. Even later that evening. Right, here we go. Love handle it up! Come on down, Jimmy Jams! Let's talk about clothes, because neither of them really have facial hair. What is your analysis of my outfit? It's amazing! I love it! My self-esteem levels are increasing. So, do you like my outfit? Your fashion sense is off the pie chart! So hot, I can feel the lust. <laughs> You're so kind! Should we get the bill? <laughs> I predict the waiter will be located in the immediate vicinity. I have only a vague memory of the waitress, waiter's features. It's this one! It's Josephine, of course! Josephine, come on down! I do apologize! Here's your bill! I like, I like the thought of like an over-the-top waiter. You have our gratitude! Well spotted, I'd forgotten what they look like. 
That's not very nice. You're not very, um, fucking observant. My memory banks are functioning at normal levels. I think they want to clear the table. Maybe we should head back to my place. Then, quick, we- Oh, then we should leave by the quickest means. I can't read, apparently. My voice just comes out like this, and all my brains go away. They fulfill the criteria beyond my imagining. Depending on how much your client likes their date, you now have up to three options. Will you go out with me again? Are you sure? What the hell is all- Oh, it is an earpiece. Because I'm telling them what to say. Oh yeah, and they're t talking to me, thinking, I get it, okay, I'm a stoop. So, would you like to be my sig- Significant- that was quick! <laughs> uh, yes, I think I'm in love with you. Jesus Christ! You guys work fast! <laughs> Test complete! True love has been achieved. <sighs> I've got my fingers and toes cro- I fucking voices. Hello! What is going on underneath those bubbles? I like this! Come on down to matchmaking town! Jack is ready to take your order! Haha! <laughs> Congratulations, they've become a couple! Romantic union has been achieved! I found my soulmate! I got a tip! Joanne and Quentin! Joentin! Quintuan! Nice! My reputation is good now! Hello! You look kinda the same as the last girl, you have the exact same eyes! Choose a client! Oh! I wonder who! Look at all my potential list of clients! This is where like a tumbleweed would come in or something. Okay, here we go! Hi, I'm Summer. I'm a barista and I'm looking for a man. Ooh, what's this place? Oh, oh, oh. greetings. My name is Summer. Hi, Summer Overbent. <laughs> oh, you are so gonna be bent over soon. <laughs> Nice! Okay, what is this tab? Likes. Advertising bookshelves, safety goggles, and board games. You know, when I want to get down with the nasty in the pasty, it's always about the safety goggles. Okay, you're a barista, March 9th. Okay, I need to find you a client. I am a barista, and I'm looking for a man. I'm interesting, interested in alphabetizing bookshelves, safety goggles, and board games. And I have a preference for brown eyes and blonde hair. Can you locate a suitable love match? Mm. They're definitely a geeky type. Ah, okay. I get it. These are the ones that are suitable. So he matches the eyes and he matches a barista. He's the same thing. You match just eyes, so you're less of a likely candidate. You match nothing. So we're going with this third guy. Because when you go into these, it says unsuitable. So I have to go with this guy. Because he matches two things. Two. He's got two of the greens. Here we go! Are you sure? Summer, Vance, come on down! Thanks, Tim! Okay, middle one. It's here. <gasps> Got it! Kitty Powers! You cannot- Ooh! Route 69, eh? You cannot hide it from me. Let's go. Let's match make it up! Let's make some bacon! Let's make some babies! The taxi driver took an inefficient route. Okay. Great. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Vance. <laughs> yeah, you must be Summer, right? Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. Wow, this restaurant is killing it. <laughs> Affirmative. I would tend to agree with that conclusion. Ooh, your blue eyes are giving me life. <laughs> Gratitudes. They are both genuine as well. Both of my eyeballs are genuine. What is your preferred sustenance? Something hard with meat would be fabuloso. I keep forgetting the voice that I've made. Because he, he, normally I just make up any sort of voice, but the fact that he kind of spoke himself. You know what? I'm giving him a different voice. Oh, God. What would you like? Um. Fuck! I didn't, I forgot what he said because I'm too busy focusing on his voice. Um. Sesame chicken salad? I will require two rations of sesame chicken salad, please. An inspire choice! I'll just make do with that, Dan. Okay, that's not what he wanted. Love handle! Everybody ready! Put your hands in the handle! Let's get ready to love it up! Oh! Oh! Motherfuckers! Occupation! We're gonna talk about this because they're both baristas. Please tell me your occupation, Vance. Well, I'm a barista at the Momo! Coincidentally, I am also a barista! 
OMG! That's like totes incredible bubbles. You are so hot, Vance! This smells smoke. Like fire smoke. Is my house on fire? I hope not. Wait. No, my floor isn't hot. I've got time. Do you like my full beard then? You could do it a little less of the red. Advise your clients to tell the truth by pressing a green button. Or lie by pressing a red button. Why would I lie? I like it. I like it. Ah, that's well nice. Thanks. I'm literally gagging to hear a good story. Have you got one? You're gagging to hear a good story? That's a weird way of saying it. Affirmative. Here's one you might enjoy. Like a matching pair in the clouds for them to share a whimsical memory with their date. How many choices do I have? Oh, guess is remaining. Okay. This one? Make a pair. Dogs, cats. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Bam. Boomeroonie. I once- oh fuck. I answered every question correctly and was the toast of the science club. I don't know what the story was actually about because I was too busy making the match and before I forgot instead of actually reading what the story was. <laughs> Wicked! That's a great story! Affirmative! It was the best thing since the Big Bang. Even later that evening. What is this? Random floating coins! It's time to pull the love handle. Three, two, one, love! We haven't talked about ha hairstyle. Uh, horoscopes. We go horoscopes. What is your opinion of horoscopes? Uh. I think they're everything. Mm. I think they are transiently entertaining. Mm. I am pleased we agree. These are the same choices as the first date. <laughs> My star signs, Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> Gemini, how's about you? Pisces? I, I don't know what goes together. My birth sign is Pisces. Is this good? Oh, bummer. We're like a total mismatch. Fuck it. No love for Jacoboy tonight. This is suboptimal. That's a bit of an astral calamity. We've got two more. We're fine. Here is your bill. I hope you had a wonderful time. What amount should we tip the restaurant employee? I reckon they totally deserve about 5%. Are you supposed to tip 10? Tip 5%? Cheat. That doesn't fucking help, but I'm bad at math. Uh, 2% of 42 is... Bam! Is this re the required coinage? Miles away, you literally ignored me completely, didn't you? I'm bad at math, and I'm not gonna sit here and actually calculate it out. I made an error. How is this possible? Number crunching isn't their strong point. It's not mine either, kitty. Let's vacate the premises. Let's head back to my place for a little bumpin' pumpkin. Are we gonna do the nasty? I have insufficient data to form an opinion. Can I see you again? Ask for another date. To play a little cooler and play the field? Here we go, here we go. Can I see you again, Vance? <laughs> do you envisage a further meeting? <sighs> I'm totally not sure. Do you think they're worth it? Maybe you'll fare better next time. Beg? I ain't about begging for no man! <laughs> do it anyway. <laughs> Go on, it would be entirely rational. Oh, okies. Seeing as you're up for it. When they see them again, sing along. Okay, so we didn't do so good that time when I was on my own. We got one heart. It's fine. I guess it went okay. I got a tip of 30. Great. That's enough for me. That's enough for me. We'll get it next time. Get it next time, people. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Cupid does Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither were babies. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. This game is actually interesting. I like giving them the voices and everything. I hope the further harder dates and the better I get at it, that they'll start saying like different sentences, and I'll figure out like I concentrate a bit, a bit more, a bit more. That's because <laughs> I was concentrating too much on making the voices and then like listening to their voice themselves and looking at their facial features or whatever instead of listening to what they were actually saying. So I'll try it better next time. And hopefully, the, like, the stuff they're saying changes, because they were saying a lot of the same stuff between the two dates. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face, like a boss, and I rise all round. Thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes. Who are you? Why are you in my room? I'm, 
I have questions! Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Why are you incessantly pink? And why are you dressed in just your underwear and like a nighty? Are you the tooth fairy? Did I lose a tooth? This music is positively transient.